Hey, Neil Lozen here for this Untamed Science Weekly. Did you know that there are glaciers on the equator? I recently got to see them for myself, but as I found out, these tropical glaciers might not be around for very long. My buddy Nate Dappen and I just came back from the expedition of a lifetime. We went to Uganda in Central Africa to climb the Ruwenzori Mountains, also called the Mountains of the Moon. They're right on the equator, but they're so tall that they actually have glaciers at their summits. If you've ever wondered how snow and ice can form in the tropics, it's all about altitude. The higher up you are, the less heat the air can absorb from the ground. So even in the tropics, mountain peaks can be really cold. In some places, cold enough for glaciers to form. So why did we climb the Ruwenzori's? Well, it turns out that their glaciers are disappearing fast. As we burn more and more fossil fuels, like oil, gas, and coal, global climate change is making the mountains warmer. And as the temperatures go up, the glaciers have started to melt. We could see the evidence right in front of us. In one valley, climbers had to keep adding new ladders just to reach the glacier. It was getting 8 to 10 feet thinner every year. And we compared the photos we took on our expedition with historical images to find out what a century of climate change looks like. The first Europeans climbed these mountains in 1906, and back then, the glaciers were more than five times the size they are now. That's a huge change for a hundred years. Scientists estimate that the glaciers will be gone in less than 20 years. That means that my kids might not be able to see the famous tropical ice of the Ruwenzori Mountains for themselves. The Ruwenzori Mountains might seem like a faraway place, but climate change is affecting environments all over the world, even in your own backyard. If we want to slow down global climate change, we need to think hard about how much energy we use and where our energy comes from. If we get smart here at home, we can make a real difference, both in our communities and in places like the Ruwenzori Mountains. So just as a reminder, Untamed Science is actually a collaborative effort between a lot of scientists and filmmakers. Now, if you haven't seen more of our videos, check them out. And if you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel because we have more videos every single week. And if you want to follow my adventures with my buddy Nate Dappen, check out Day's Edge Productions.